Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. It's me, your bastards. G'day, your bastards. Well, the big signs up, look. The big signs up. I said to chick, there's so many people walking around the estate area. Put the sign up for the land for sale up the back block. And uh, believe it or not, there's a people, couple, older couple who's they're actually going to build a house in a pig pen where the old um, fish pond is. And uh, they said they're after more land. And chick said, oh, mine's up for sale at the back, and it's joining your land as well. So um, they had a look at that and they said, oh, what trees you got on it? She's got heaps of, heaps of durian trees, we got um, avocado trees, hairy ball trees, longestein trees, um, all that shit, plus, you know, the odd banana, because it was all bananas before. So they said, hmm. So Chick told them what the price is and said, um, if you pay cash, of course, it's, um, we'll give you a good discount. So they're like, hmm. So uh, I said, get a fucking sign up, woman. Get a sign up, go and do it, quick. So we put a sign up. Why not? You know, someone's got two and a half million to spare, let them buy it. Right! So we're going to Bob's place tomorrow. We're going to pick up. He's got an industrial vacuum cleaner, mate, that can suck the bed sheets off you. Seriously, an old girlfriend I knew. So um, yesterday we were talking, he said, um, yeah, I've got one. He said, it's a, um, how many gallons was it? He said, oh, it's not like your little one. He said, your little one would fit so many inside of it. And I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, I'll fit inside of it. Oh, fuck, where's my glasses? Shit. Shit. So, let's have a quick look here. No one's up on the security at the moment. Can you guys look at this? 12 gallons, 12 US gallons, five horsepower. Fuck my dog. That would absolutely incredible. So we're gonna pick that up tomorrow. Plus he's got one of those vibrating tool things. So we're gonna pick that up as well. So Bob's like me, he hates ice cream. Like absolutely, hey I, hates ice cream. So Bob hates ice cream. So I said to him, I'll make you up a couple when we come. And we decided that we can get Wilfredo tomorrow. So I've had to email, I had to um, message Bob and say, hear that, hear that? That is the sound of loveliness, guys. So she's pre-cooled. Pre okay, so we'll put that on hold. All right, it's pre-cooled down. So here it is over here. Now, what's in ice cream? Half a tin of condensed milk, half a tin. One and a quarter cups of milk, one cream, and vanilla essence. That's it, guys, that's it. And that makes the most beautifulest vanilla ice cream. I tell you, I love it. I love it, totally. You know, they, you can stick anything, you can stick fruit in it, you can, I've stuck one of our, one of our viewers sent us some homemade strawberry jam. So I poured that into it one day and made a homemade strawberry jam um, ice cream. And I tell you, it was bloody beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. All right, so that's done. Now all you do now, where's the like, go mark on the top? There's the go mark there. So put that in there, it says align to align, lock. Now you hit the start button again, and away it goes. Okay, it's all on automatic. Now this will stop when it's nearly ready, and it will say add ingredients. So because it's, because it's Bob, I'm gonna do an Oreo one. Yummy. And I made this before, but I crushed it up too much. So, well, you have to learn somewhere, guys. And I'm also gonna do, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm gonna do a flake one. So we'll get two. How good is this? And we'll see how it goes, and I might make one up for, for me and chicken eye eye later on. So this is going around, look. So we just leave it. Oh, Dave, I tell you, you're an amazing man to buy us this. You really are. And we use it a lot, guys. We use it at least two, three times a week. We love the bastard. Let's do it. Okay, so while that's going, let's get the second one going. And they can just sit there chilling out. So one and a quarter cups of milk. Doesn't matter if you put a little bit too much in, guys. It just gives you that extra little bit of yumminess, doesn't it? Right? That extra little bit of yumminess. Oh, look at that. And of course, having, having it cold is always better. So, one and a quarter cups of milk, half a can of the condensed yucky milk. I remember they used to put all this in their coffees years ago, back in the 60s, because you know, there was no refrigerators and all that type of stuff out there them days. I remember them days, and where we used to go fishing down on Broughton Creek down at um, Nara on the Shoalhaven River, 
The old guy, he used to have a kerosene stove. And that's the first time I ever seen one. It was a uh, 1970, I think it was. It's about 1970. And uh, he had a kerosene stove. Not stove, refrigerator, dickhead. A, a kerosene refrigerator. Seriously. Wow, incredible. That's only a heat conversion, isn't it? Right, next one. One cup of cream, which is virtually one of these containers here. Just drop it in. Just drop it in there, look. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Can I lick the bowl? No, flush it like everybody else. And now, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Right, so I found out that one teaspoon is roughly about a capful. Don't go over too overboard on this shit, for God's sake. Right. Put the lid on. That's it, guys. That's, that's all there is to ice cream. Now, you can do this yourself. The same recipe, right? One and a quarter cups of milk, one cup of cream, half a can of condensed milk, and the vanilla. Vanilla, okay? And you can put it in a foil um, tin, put it in the freezer, and just stir it every now and again. And you've got the same thing. Exactly the same thing. That's probably about, I don't know how many I'll put in there then. But that many, however that many is. All right guys, the bell's just gone off. Makes that ding dong. Look at that. Aye, come and do a test, Styles. So get I out, I out to do the official test for us. Look at that, look at that, honey. look at that. Oh. The only thing that pisses me off with this is that bloody handle. It's the only thing that pisses me off. It always gets in the way. Always. Remember when you were kids and mum's making, whipping up some cream or something like that? She used to give you the, um, the sticks to, to lick. But you'd always leave an extra coating on it. This is what I always like. This here. Aye, where are you? Fuck, you're scaring me. You're scaring me, I. Stop doing it. Right, so I, I is the official taste tester, yes? All right. So this one's got the Oreos in it. And uh, it comes out as a soft serve, as you can see. I'll give her a, I'll give her a cup full of it in a minute. It comes out as a soft serve ice cream. And um, you stick it back into the freezer and she comes up very nice. Very nice. Oh. All right, I'll stop stirring her up. I'll give her some of this. There you go, I. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Over the sink, I. Over the sink. It's leaking from the centre. She's, like, she's like a kid, I. I. She really is. But, uh, right, so this will even have some spare for, for us later on. Later on. So what do you think, Bob? Bob, what do you think, mate? This is going to be an Oreo one, and the one after it will be, the next one I'll put in now, will be the... Oh, I don't think I'll be able to get that in there. Next one will be the chocolate flake. Yummy. Alright guys, look at that. So Bob, we are on the ball mate, we are on the ball. <laughs> you got little legs going. What do you think? Make it again? All right. All right, let's put this into another container. Let's get number two going. All right, so IOS just called me and said, ice cream. So that means the machine has gone into its fill me up baby mode. So this one's gonna be a flake. Look at this, would you? Oh, Bob, you're such a lucky. Now, I'm not sure how many to stick in on this because as you know, we haven't, we haven't hit this one before. But you can never have too much chocolate, can you? You know? It's like, like that one I was seen the other day, it said, beer. And it, what goes better with beer? More beer. Okay, look at this. Oh. Don't worry, guys, my hands are clean. Don't you worry about that. I know you're all worried about it. And it's funny, like when Stu was here, we are making the uh, chicken pies. 
And of course, when you mix everything together in a big pot, you get in with your hand, get in with your hand, and um, I'll put two in actually just to see what it turns like. So um, you get in with your hand into it and stir it all up and you mix it all up, then you put it into your pots. And it was quite funny, his wife, his wife looked and said, um, looked and said, um, you're using your hands. Oh, here we go. Right, just give me a stir it in. I'll tell you. Here, right, taste that. Taste this, right? Tell me what you think. This one is, um, Flake. Well. Yummy. Yummy? All right then. Right, let's get these in the container. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh. 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 oh, Bob's gonna be excited on this one, guys. This is too much to better eat some out of that. There you go guys this is us making ice cream for bob and joy money bob and look we've even got some left over for us yeah yay all right guys that was um two and a half flakes in that and i think that's enough i think for that mix two and a half flakes all right guys thanks for watching please share subscribe and buy and dave greenslade you are gold you are gold